Hi guys, it's Atik back again with a new tutorial. Today I'm going to uh, tell you something interesting. That's how you can host your WordPress site for free one year in AWS. I think we all are excited to know how we can hold our, host our WordPress site in an AWS for one year free. So let me explain. The policy that AWS uh, creates that if you create a new account on AWS, uh, then they give a free tier of uh, one year in this one year you can use one ec2 instance one rds for free there is a, a limit on instance type uh, in ec2 and rds both but i am going to show you how you can uh, stay within the free tier and still upload your wordpress site with very good performance so let's get started First, I am logged into the <coughs> console. I am now into my uh, AWS console. I am going to create a new EC2 instance. Let's go to EC2. Uh, EC2 means Elastic Cloud Compute. So this is your actually web server where your files of your WordPress site, your images, everything will be stored so uh, let's create a new instance i am on region ireland but you can choose any region that's near to you i have created a separate video on how to create those apache php and mysql on ec2 so if you're interested to uh, see that i have uh, links in the description so let's uh, quickly do set up the ec2 i will choose linux one it's within t2 uh, micro is within free tier so i will choose t2 micro <coughs> it's best practice to create a uh, protect against accidental termination even though i will delete this okay 8 gigs of disk space and then you now to add tags i will create a tag Then I put the project name. Okay. Next, security groups. I create a new security groups here. I give a name. Sites and shops security group. Okay. I give a. I put it my IP. I give my. IP. I create HTTP to everywhere. I create HTTPS that's also everywhere. It's important guys <coughs> to give this anywhere otherwise you might not access to your web server via HTTP. Okay, <clears throat> let's go to next. This is in a preview section. I can see what's been done here. So it's okay. I create a new key pair. I give a name 31st March 2019. I download the key pair. It's downloaded. Let's launch. Okay, it's launching. Okay, let me see if the instance has been uh, launched. I go to the instance list and it's running. So the instance is launched. This is the IP address. So uh, I will connect to that instance now. I copy the IP. I go to my terminal. It needs to be connected by SSH. Okay, I go to downloads folder. I need to extend the permission of the PM file. 400 to 31 March. Then I connect SSH 31 March. 
EC2 user that's important and then IP yes okay that's great now I, I will copy the commands from my other video it's in the uh, my YouTube channel please if you haven't seen that please go to there I will just copy from there and just paste it it will install Apache PHP 7.2 and my SQL. probably I don't need my SQL server because I'm going to use RDS so I will skip that <coughs> it's installing so it's uh, taking some time uh, however um, might not take that much time in your case it's let's wait till it's finished great it's done so let's run my next one this will install HTTP that is Apache PHP 7.2 PHP 7.2 MySQL ND and MP string that's done then I copy my next commands Great. Here I will just not install the MySQL uh, server because I am going to install RDS. That's great. Then I restart the HTTP server. Okay. Then I uh, set the Apache server to auto start when server reboots. It's important because uh, if you have uh, rebooted the server and you, if you uh, need to manually start it, then that's a, a problem for future. I add a group, double, uh, www. Set the group to my EC2 user and Apache user. Okay, then Apache user. Then I set permissions. almost done so it's pretty simple you can just run those commands and it, it will work okay uh, I create my terminal so <coughs> basically <coughs> okay I have uh, completed to set up the Apache server then I'm going to uh, change some configuration files so let's do that This is the Apache configuration file. I'm going to modify the group. So it needs to be uh, dot, dot, 
left up okay and then I say it's safe then I have to modify the PHP file memory limit uh, you can set it to 256 okay this is optional <coughs> you can still continue your web server on this so uh, let me go to the browser and see if the web server is installed properly Great. It looks like it's set up properly. Then um, I go where? I go to uh, var top, 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 Okay. I will go and download the WordPress files. Wget. Then I will copy the WordPress zip file. Copy the link, paste the download file link here. Let's download. It will download the WordPress files from WordPress source. So let's check. Yeah, it's downloaded. Then I unzip it. Okay, let me clear the screen and list files. Great, it's uh, created inside the folder WordPress. So uh, I can rename it to my uh, own uh, requirement, but for now, it's uh, I keep it as it is. So let's go to uh, WordPress. CT WordPress. Great. all files has been copied okay file ownership I see its root so I need to change that sudo ch on I will set that is it to user tap 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 Now I am going to create a WordPress uh, database. So for database, I will go to RDS. In the services, I press RDS. Go to here. I create a database. I will choose MySQL. Uh, it's because it's within the free tier so I will shift it only eligible to my SQL free tiers I select it and then I go to next I will choose the version 5.7 my SQL 5.7 then I keep it others as default <coughs> great then i get i set the uh, instance identifier so i keep it name sites and shops i give a username sites and shops i give a password for password i always choose a strong password password generator okay this is generated copy 
put the password and here as well I go to next it's almost there is it publicly accessible uh, for now I say yes because I need to access it from my uh, home and office so that's uh, that availability zone not preference choose a new VPC group okay and then database options database name I give it database name section shops DB port 3306 parameter group mysql 5.7 this all stays same as in the default we don't need to change anything here for backup i would say uh, to stay within p tier one day only enable detect protection yes we want to prevent accidental deletion okay create database great uh, it will start creating your database it might take one or two minutes time so let me pause my video for a few minutes and then I come back again I'm back so uh, I see the instance is now created Okay, this is the endpoint that I need to copy. This is my host name. I go to um, go to three. I need to move the name here. Yeah, so. I will in the HTML folder to HTML fold and okay then I go to HTML there is a main file that is wp config which I need to copy here config.php <coughs> I give the database name here and then uh, the host name actually I just copy it Then I copy the username. Copy the password. And the data was named.
okay we have finished editing the config file now I am going to uh, create modify the uh, security groups so let's go to there so basically we need to allow EC2 to access RDS so that's uh, I add a new node here MySQL custom I put security group that I just created and gave it here EC2 I save The security group is added. Let me now test the browser. Field to establish a database connection. Okay, um, just a minute. Let me check if I have database connected to that. So let's go to MySQL. I think I put the database number on, so let's edit the file again. Installation screen, so um, let's put my blog name here that is uh, status shops, your name as well as blog user, password is strong, password is it used, email. So let's go to the front end. This is also done. Now I'm going to point my domain to this site. So for this I need the IP address. Copy the IP. Then this is my DNS. I want you to add a uh, record for my domain. So maybe if I refresh this, I can see my website is done. So uh, this is a basic installation uh, guide. So this is uh, for uh, people who just want to make the uh, blog site up and running for one year without any cost. So this tutorial will be very helpful for you. So uh, I hope this tutorial helps you and uh, you will see my next other tutorials as well. Thank you for watching. Bye.